Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. If you are a returning subscriber, um, thank you for joining me. Um, again, as always, it is um, the support that you guys give me is unbelievable and really I don't know if I could keep um, doing all these um, videos without all the support that I get from you all. You are all absolutely amazing. Um, if you are new to the channel then please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can stay up to date with all future content. Um, now in today's video I'm going to be reviewing another Australian whiskey and this particular Australian whiskey is definitely a name that is um, I guess very I guess prestigious in the Australian whiskey community. It is one of those distilleries that um, around the same time um, Sullivan's Cove was um, winning some major awards uh, this distillery was also getting some very decent um, exposure um, around the same time and that is the Western Australian um, distillery known as Lime Burners. Um, now this is their gen say, with this whiskey that I'm going to be reviewing today, this is their Genesis White Oak. Um, it has been bottled at 43%, um, non-chill filtered. As far as I know, it is all natural color. Um, I believe um, that at this stage anyway, that there are not really many distilleries that um, actually use um, coloring in their whiskies. Um, if you do know of any, please drop me a comment down below and um, yeah, this will be, it'll be some useful information to have. Um, but yeah, let me just read a little bit of information off the back of the label and then I'll get started with the reviews. So, so this has been made and hand bottled at our distillery on the edge of Princess Royal Harbour in Albany. This complex and elegant single malt whiskey is distilled with care in our traditional small batch copper pot stills from premium local barley and pristine local water. Genesis has been matured exclusively in second fill bourbon barrels. Genesis was chosen to celebrate the importance of these white oak casts to lime burner single malt whiskey. Genesis is a serious whiskey connoisseur's delight made to savour. Exhibiting gentle citrus and honey aromas, Lime Burners Genesis has a bright golden colour with a bold, full flavour, upfront spice, vanilla notes, and a medium to long finish. Lime Burners Genesis is truly remarkable and distinctly Australian. Please enjoy responsibly. All right, I think that sounds, say, pretty decent to me. Um, let's pour a little bit into the glass now. There we go. That should do. I'd like to also point out the presentation um, of this. It's just a nice, simple bottle, simple labeling. Uh, labeling, sorry, but it has some all the like important information that you need on it. I think, as I mentioned before, this has also been bottled at forty-three percent. And again, and look at that color. I think I'm fairly lucky that I'm able to actually catch this pretty well in the sun but it is a nice golden color kind of like watered down honey it's uh yeah really really nice very let's say a nice light golden color all right let's get on with the review and let's see what we get so cheers okay so straight away you'll notice the nose it's it's very fresh it's very bright it definitely has some like fainty characteristics coming through I'm getting now this is, this is one note that I had gotten um, very prominently on Hellier's Road that I am not a fan of um, but fortunately on this whiskey it's very light and it actually integrates a, a lot better into the spirit than what it does for Hellier's Road so I'm getting that that acetony uh, varnish uh, varnish note on I have to say on the on the Hillier's Road that was almost a very unbearable note I could not enjoy the whiskey at all for that but so far for this one on the nose it's actually it's not too bad 
but it, you can expect a lot of like ripe Granny Smith apples, vanilla. There's definitely some nice spicy oak notes that come through. A little bit of barrel char. I'm not sure how heavy um, the char is on these casks. Um, I'm going to assume that it's pretty light. I mean, even on the nose, it's not something that's very prominent. It is just a light feature. I mean, it, it barely comes through, but you will definitely notice it. Damp wood. It's got a a very musty note. So imagine like a like a damp warehouse or something like that. Foresty. I'm getting a lot of like those pine needle notes. A little bit of vanilla bean. It's quite floral as well. A lot of the notes coming off this is um, pretty much like a an Australian an Australian space cider. I think that's probably the easiest way to describe it. So you've got like those nice those nice typical orchard fruits blended in. Like I say with uh, like those apples, vanillas. You're getting a nice gentle aroma of the barley, so it has a very nice like natural earthy grainy note that comes through and as i'm no nosing it that uh those that acetone varnish note that i was getting more i guess quite prominent at the beginning is starting to dissipate now so uh, just judging by the the nose i think that this is a whiskey that would definitely benefit um, from once you pour it just let it sit for maybe 20 minutes to half an hour come back to it at least that way it's had time to to breathe and open up because already even in just this short time it's already started to to open up and those other flavors have started to to surface i think now i'm also starting to get a touch of apricot all right that's it for the nose. Let's see what we get um, on the palate. So, cheers. Okay, so the mouthfeel, it's very elegant on this. It's soft, it's smooth. As you as you sip, it kind of just like moves around your mouth it will it stretches from the tip of your tongue all the way to the back it falls down the sides i'll say it gives you for a very like gentle mouth feel it's a very full mouth feel um it's quite dry uh one thing that i'm enjoying as well is that um that barrel influence at the moment so you've got these these really nice oaky um flavors that are coming through the the um, what's it called the um the barrel char now is a lot more prominent it's quite smoky but it's very it's very gentle as well i said every everything about this at the moment is just gentle and elegant there's a a very nice pleasant balance to everything that comes through off the initial the initial sip So expect more of those apples and pears. Um, the vanilla notes are very um, are definitely there. It is slightly citric. Um, think more along the lines of like lemon and lime zest. So like the, um, the scrapings that you'll get from the um, the peel. And it's it has a very nice cereal um, taste as well. So again that. Um, that barley is just complementing very well. I'm also getting like notes of like cornflake. So yeah, you just imagine like a nice like soft, oh, uh, more so sweet cornflakes. Sorry, it's slightly sugary, um, but it's more of like a uh, like fruit um, fruit sugars rather than actual say like white or raw sugar. Um, so yeah, expect that um, fruity sugariness. Um, what else? There's something definitely there. Okay, yeah, it's also quite nutty. Um, I'm getting like 
the hints of um, peanut and chestnut. It definitely has like a nice chestnut creaminess to it as well. Um, when you get like a, a nice roasted chestnut where the middle still stays um, quite soft and it has that nice creamy texture, um, that's what I'm getting from this at the moment on the palette. Um, the finish for this, now they're saying on the bottle that, um, where was it? That it has a medium to long finish. I would say I don't necessarily agree with that myself. I would say it's probably more so short to medium, um, but more to the to the medium um, length finish. Again, very gentle, very elegant. It is soft. Um, there's nothing there that's going to challenge you at all. Again, those um, those nutty notes are more prominent on the finish. So. Uh, I'm really enjoying that chestnut flavor that I'm getting. Uh, that is a very nice, um, a very nice feature of the finish. It's very creamy. Um, that moves along to to the vanilla notes. Just very soft, gentle flavors. And then every now and then you will get like a light waft of smoke that comes up um, from the barrel char as well. I think the um, the barrel notes are something that's definitely been well integrated into the spirit and it just balances things out really, really well. Uh, I have to say that's probably one benefit um, of this whiskey being aged in, um, in say, in used, um, sorry, in used casks. Uh, sorry, what was the, I'm getting all mixed up. Sorry, yeah, that's right. They're, so they're second fill bourbon casks. So... These casts have already been used before. A lot of the like initial like dominant flavors um, that these casts have had um, have probably already gone through into the maturation of another spirit. And now it's just had that nice amount of time just to just gently um, give flavor to the spirit in this particular bottle. So that is very enjoyable. Um, I that's probably one thing that I found very disappointing about the um, Hellier's Road releases that I've tried so far is that I think that they they could have definitely benefited from having say something like a, a second or third fuel um, cask the spirit in those is, is just way too spiky um, yeah it, again I I just can't really say that I'm just not a fan of Hellier's Road to me, um, this Lime Burners release is um, pretty much like what is Hellier's, but moving in the right direction. It's um, it is definitely a lot better. I think if you were if you were going to your local bottle sh uh, bottle shop and you're deciding whether to go for say like the Hellier's Road or um, the Lime Burners Genesis, um, I would definitely pick this over the Hellier's Road. Um, any time of the day so um, definitely keep an eye out for this at the moment I do believe I mean I can't mention <laughs> what stores at the moment um, but I do believe that um, this is available on sale at the moment at a I guess a lot of local retailers so if you're able to find it definitely keep an eye out for it you can get it for a decent um, you can get it for quite a decent price at the moment all right I think I shall leave it at that that's all I have to say um yeah if um actually one thing i would like to ask as well obviously i do feature a lot of uh whiskies or say australian whiskies on this channel um if there's an australian whiskey or a scotch or a bourbon that you would like to um to see me review um let me know in the comments down below and i'll see what i can do about uh, making that wish come true so all right that's it i'll leave it at that my name is andrew this is prestige liquids and I'll see you all again on the next video. Give this.